Welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. Today we're doing another unboxing and product review. Normally on this channel I reuse everything. I dumpster dive, I scavenge, I build all my projects out of scraps. So when I buy something new, it's a rare enough occurrence that I guess I might as well review the thing. So today we've got this security alarm system. This is one of those uh, imported products that doesn't really have a brand name. And when it does have a brand, well, they'll probably change the name next week to avoid bad reviews. So it doesn't really matter. Well, let's see what's in here. Got our quick start guide, which I'm going to assume is going to be pretty useless. Some mounting hardware. Got the uh, main brain unit, which looks like it plugs directly into the wall. Some little motion sensors. Boy, these are really packed in here tight. We've got our cat Donnie here. And Donnie is actually the uh, main reason for buying this product. We're still trying to keep him off the counters, and we're hoping a little alarm system will at least let us know when he's up there. I believe this is a window door opening sensor. Got a few of those. And then we've got two alarm remotes, which are nice for a countertop alarm, so we can turn the thing on and off when we come into the kitchen. As usual, Donnie gives a 5 out of 5 to the box. So like I said, product names on things like this are pretty much meaningless because they're all either knockoffs of each other or clones of each other. We've got this existing alarm that claims to be a CP van, and I noticed the uh, alarm remote is identical on the CP van to this uh, D1, D9, but um, just didn't have the name on it. This thing works okay. Um, these are supposedly able to link together. I bought a couple of them and they don't link together. The remote for one arms one and disarms the other with the same button and vice versa. So if you buy these guys, again, ignore this name, meaningless, but if you buy an alarm that looks like this, they're great as standalone units. They don't link together at all. Anyway, back to this new one that we're actually reviewing. I've got the hub or brain unit plugged into charge, so we need to access that via Wi-Fi and change some of the settings. Got to download one of these sketchy apps. I don't really need the app for my purposes, but apparently I need to install it to change any settings. As usual, the sketchy app behaves a little differently than the manual claims. Manuals for stuff like this I usually take with a huge grain of salt. They're always poorly translated. They don't always have anything to do with the actual operation of the device, and sometimes they're for a completely different device than you get in the box. All right, we're attempting to pair the device. All right, apparently I've earned demerit points. I didn't know that I was signing up for military school when I bought this thing. All right, we're resetting things. Ow! Okay, that is annoyingly loud. Now, if we can't get this thing to pair at all, this might be a really short review. All right, the only tech support for this thing is a little chat bot, which suggested I try adding it manually, and this doesn't really seem to work either. All right, so Wi-Fi and or the app doesn't work at all on this device. Let's see if it'll work with the remotes it came with. Ow. That's, again, extremely loud and annoying. I already kind of hate this thing. If I'm going to keep using this thing, I think I'm going to throw a sock over it. My ears are practically bleeding right now. All right, let's see if it works with its little motion sensors. If I can get these turned on. All right, I think that might be on. There's no indicator light. Oh, there we go. It does have a little light on it. And at great risk to my hearing, I'm going to try triggering the motion sensor. All right, I put the biggest sock I can find over it. And that doesn't really help at all. All right, well, it works, but it has this deafening countdown. Whenever you arm it, it sits there and beeps for like 20 seconds. It just, you know, I could accept a really loud alarm to scare off burglars or whatever, but every time you go in and out of the house, it's gonna do that? Ah, no. Apparently you can turn that countdown off in the app if the app worked, which it doesn't. All right, so the, at the expense of any future I had in the music industry, I've verified that the two remotes it came with work and the two motion sensors work. I'm not even gonna try these window things. It's just not worth the auditory pain. All right, we're trying yet another pairing mode on the app and it's still not working. Now the manual claims you can put the app into AP mode and connect directly without going through the Wi-Fi router. But as usual, the instructions have nothing to do with reality. All right, we've actually found a way to put the alarm's brain into AP mode. All right, we got it to connect. It only took about five tries. 
Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a volume control on this, so you can't really turn down that awful shrieking. There really are only a few settings on this. It, it's not really worth having the app at all. The hub device is supposed to have an activity log, but that either doesn't work or it's locked up my app here. Alright, so we've turned off that annoying countdown in the app, and let's arm it. Nope, still there! Alright, so this thing turns out to be complete garbage. The pairing and Wi-Fi setup is poor to non-existent. The default volume is extremely loud and cannot be changed. It's got that obnoxious countdown that supposedly can be disabled, but really can't. And there really are just minimal settings or options, so this whole thing is just worthless. Um, it also claims to be a fire and gas alarm, but there are no fire or gas sensors in here. So, the usual false advertising that you'd come to expect from junk like this. Final product review, complete garbage, 0 out of 5 stars, I'm going to return it for a refund. So I would recommend not buying the D1-D9 security alarm system, which I'm sure you'll have no problem doing because they'll erase the D1-D9 name and have a different name next week. I apologize for any ear damage that was sustained by my viewers during this segment. Thanks for watching, thanks for putting up with this, and we'll see you next time.